Good morning, students. Welcome back to the chemistry lesson solutions. A solution is a a solution is a homogeneous mixture of two or more substances. Example: sugar solution, salt solution. So, in a solution, the component present in lesser amount by weight is called a solute, and the component present in larger amount by weight is called a solvent. So, solute plus solvent gives a solution. Example: salt in water or sugar in water. The types of solution. Based upon the particle size, the solution can be classified into three types: true solution, colloidal solution, then suspension. What is true solution? True solution is a homogeneous mixture of a uh, solute particle that are dissolved in a solvent. Sugar that is completely dissolved in a solvent and it is called as a true solution. Then colloidal solution. The colloidal solution example starch in water or blood. So you can see the cloudy mixture. So it is a heterogeneous mixture and this mixture is called as colloidal solution. The third one suspension. Then sand in water or wheat flour in water. You can get the turbid mixture. And the fine particles that is slowly settle down at the bottom after some time, and this mixture is called as a suspension. These are the types of solution: true solution, colloidal solution, and a suspension. Then, what are the differences between true solution, colloidal solution, and suspension based upon the particle size? In true solution, less than the particle size is less than 10 power minus 7 centimeter, and the colloidal solution is 10 power minus 7 to 10 power minus 5 centimeter. Then the suspension, the particle size is greater than 10 power minus 5 centimeter. Then differences between based upon these properties, it is the difference between suspension. Colloidal solution and true solution. The first property, particle size, that is greater than 100 nanometer. Here, one to 100 nanometer. Here, less than 100 nanometer. Then filtration separation. It is possible. It is impossible here. In true solution, also it is impossible. The third one, setting of particles that settle on their own. Here. Settles down or here or centrifugation. Here they do not settle down. Then appearance opaque, not visible, translucent, partial, partially visible, transparent. You can cannot see the uh, uh, solution in true solution. A tindal effect shows the, the part beam of the light. You can see here shows in colloidal solution, but in true solution does not show. The diffusion of particles do not sh sh uh, diffuse. Diffuse slowly, diffuse rapidly, and the Brownian moment may show here it shows, but in true solution may or may not shows. The last one nature. The suspension is heterogeneous. Colloidal solution is also heterogeneous, but the true solution is a homogeneous in nature. These are the differences between. Suspension, colloidal solution, and true solution. Then colloidal solution. Colloidal solution is a heterogeneous mixture consisting of dispersed phase and dispersion medium. The dispersed phase or the dispersion medium can be a solid or liquid or gas. You can have the eight different combination possible in this colloidal. Solution, but only one. The combination, the gas and gas, it is not possible. So here it is called as a form the true solution. Now classification of colloids based on the physical state of dispersed phase and dispersion medium. So these are the dispersed phase. These are the dispersion medium, and their name with examples. The first one. Solid in solid. Name is solid soul. Example: alloys, gems, colored glass. Then solid in liquid. Soul. Example: paints, inks, egg white. 
solid in gas aerosol smoke and dust then liquid in solid gel curd cheese and also jelly then liquid in liquid emulsion milk butter oil in water then liquid in gas aerosol mist fog clouds then gas in solid solid foam the foam cake and bread then gas in liquid foam that is soap platter and also aerated water these are the classification of colloids based on the physical states of state of dispersion and the dispersion medium with their examples now brownian movement when the colloidal particles are viewed under a powerful microscope it can see the particles can be seen in the colloidal part see the colloidal particles can be seen in the solution and the particles are moving constantly and rapidly in a zigzag movement or zigzag directions so the brownian movement of the particles due to the unbalanced bombardment of the particles by molecules of the dispersion medium the tindall effect the tindall observed it okay when a beam of light here this is a true solution this is a colloidal solution when a beam of light is focused on the colloidal solution and also the colloidal solution and also the true solution the part of the beam can be visible in colloidal solution so this phenomenon is known as tindall effect and this illuminated part is called as tindall cone you can see here in pure water not visible light is not visible but here in colloidal solution it can visible so here this part is called as tindall effect what is tindall effect when a beam of light is passed focused on a colloidal solution the parts of the beam becomes visible the part of the beam becomes visible and this phenomenon is known as tindall effect then come to the last topic of this uh, lesson emulsion what is an emulsion emulsion is a collide of two or more immiscible liquids when one liquid is dispersed in another liquid so you already know that um kerosene in water the kerosene and water it does they do not mix so this means one type of liquid particles here get dispersed in another liquid so emulsion is a type of mixture made by only a two liquids are combining but they normally not they does not mix so what is emulsion emulsion is a colloid colloid of two or more immiscible liquid where one liquid is dispersed in the another liquid then the word emulsion comes from the latin word meaning to milk so milk is one of the example of emulsion it contains fat and water the process of turning a liquid mixture into emulsion is called as emulsification so what is emulsification the process of turning a liquid mixture into a emulsion and it is called as emulsification example milk butter cream egg yolk paints cough syrups facial creams pesticides so these are the examples of emulsions then types of emulsion we have a two types of emulsions the two liquids mixed can form different types of emulsion oil in water and water in oil emulsion the first one oil in water look at the picture here the blue shade is the water and the yellow shade is the oil this one oil in water the next one water in oil these are the two types of emulsions first one oil and water can form an oil in water emulsion example cream here the oil droplets are dispersed in water the next one they can form a water in oil emulsion example butter so these are the two types of emulsions first one two liquids can mix together 
to form a different type of emulsion. First one, oil in water emulsion, example cream. The next one, water in oil emulsion, that is mixture, it is called as water in oil emulsion. The example is butter. See the picture, the types of emulsion. You can see that oil in water and the water in oil mixture. Then what some of the uses of emulsion, it is used in food processing, paramedical, metallurgy, and other important industries also these are the uses of emulsions or emulsifications. So now you recall the uh, questions, important questions, explained browning moment, explained Tyndall effect. Now you have the assignment, you finish the short answers and write one time. Thank you students.